Okay, so in step three, we're going to tackle that large hero image and put it right underneath our navigation. So from the content pane, we're going to start by grabbing a container element at the bottom and drag and drop it right onto the canvas. And we're going to switch over to the styles pane and give it a class name of hero container or hero section. Then we're going to go back over to that content pane and this time we're going to grab a picture element, drag and drop it right into that new container. And now to actually put in our picture, we're going to switch to the third control panel called the elements pane. Here you'll see a tree of all of your elements. With the picture selected, we're going to use the drop down and choose local image. Now here's where we'll pull in all of those resources I gave you at the beginning of the project. Um, I'm going to create a folder that says images to keep everything nice and organized in the project. And select add images. And I'm going to go ahead and pull in all of the images I know I'm going to need for the project. And for that hero, I'm going to select the hero image and it will pop right into place. As a habit, I always add the alt text right here for, I'm just going to go ahead and write hero image. Then go back to the styles pane and let's increase that size. So to shake things up, instead of giving it a class name, let's go ahead and apply these styles to the type. This means any image element would get the exact same properties that we're about to set. So under the layout tab, to make that image nice and big, from dimensions, we're gonna set the max width to none. And there we go.